So, uh, what advice would you give to people completely new to uh, game development and want to get started designing and developing their own games? Well, I think prototyping is an essential skill. You know, prototyping is to game design as storyboarding is to uh, you know a visual artist or you know filmmaker. Uh, that's a fundamental skill. I think that in terms of design, you know, you really have to distinguish yourself against all the other designers. And there are a lot of really sharp designers coming out right now. All these school programs. Uh, I think probably the best piece of advice I can give is to look for design inspirations outside of game design. Start making their own videos. Make one in the next 48 hours. That would be my advice. They should start making video games. Um, it used to be you had all kinds of excuses not to get started. Oh, I can't, I can't afford a dev kit, or you know, I don't, I don't know how I'd learn how to do it. Like, and you don't have any of those excuses. They're all gone. All the information about how to do it is right there on the internet. Right, you can you, anybody can anybody can download Unity and get started. Anybody can download Game Salad and and just get started. So quit whining. That's, that's that'd be my advice. Just go go and do it. Wow. Well, first go for it, and <laughs> uh, secondly, I think uh, just do the stuff that you're good at first, and then do the stuff that you love. That will keep you motivated the whole time. Make your own games. <laughs> There's no time like the present. There are tons of great tools for making video games, and they're available. You could get stuff for free. Join a community, get on a forum, start making, and getting people to play your games. Don't just make them and then keep them on your computer. Share them. Don't wait. Start making games right away. It doesn't matter if it's the little card game you scrawled on uh, index cards, or if you actually you know, download RPG Maker and start making stuff with pre-built uh, assets. Get used to making things a lot. Yeah, write it down, prototype it, do something. You just just get out there and create something. Um, even if it only impresses you and your mom, it's something you made and it's something that's, you know, it's cool, something you did. You have to just start making stuff. And so there are a lot of opportunities now, especially like with the indie scene. Uh, you could do independent works on your own. There's modding groups where you could take a game, like uh, an established game, and like make a new level for it. So getting that kind of stuff on your portfolio right off the bat, like I wish I had started doing that in high school. Um, so you know, just get started is, is my advice. The bar to entry is pretty much zero. I guess my advice is just make a lot of video games. Mm -hmm. No matter what it is, just anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say definitely make as many games as you can. Um, start looking at games objectively. The key thing to do, I think, is to, I mean, it seems obvious, but is to actually do it. And I think um, a lot of people start a little bit and then give up. I think if you put an hour a day into it, you will eventually accomplish something very worthwhile. It's it, The problem happens when you, you just don't do stuff. As long as you're doing something, it'll eventually pay off. I think that's the biggest thing by far. Don't let what ifs get in your way, just do. Just do something, anything. And it might suck, but you'll learn something, and that's fine. Uh, you can make a game this weekend, that way. Mm -hmm. It's not, not hard, um, and I would encourage everyone who likes games, who thinks it's interesting to do it, because my hope is that there'll be a bunch of new ideas. My one request is that when folks make their new games, is just don't copy someone else's and just rescan it. Yeah, yeah. We've got that covered. <laughs> We've already done that. Start now and start hard. We can just go for it. Uh, I wouldn't try to tackle on a big project. I would do a series of small uh, little, little, little prototypes. Maybe uh, You don't have to fully develop you know, each little prototype, but just enough to get to the, uh, know all the tools. And once you know the entire pipeline, maybe get uh, two or three people together and, and sit down and finish a project. Yeah, start small, too. Uh, a lot of people want to do a lot of great things with games and uh, they don't realize exactly how many different wheels are turning behind the scenes of a game. Yeah, look at what other people have done, look at tutorials, look at code and just play with the code, and then once you're comfortable with it, don't try to make your biggest game, just make a small game and actually finish it. Definitely start as early as possible. Uh, you can never have too much time. The number one thing is to make a small game, and when you make your idea, if you think it's good, go even further. Um, and reduce the size of it just so that you can finish something. The biggest thing is students, especially at our school, we noticed is they just don't finish anything. They have great ideas and they get halfway through and then it peters out. Uh, I would have to say exactly uh, the scope of the project is definitely imperative when it comes down to actually creating your game design because you don't want to be too ambitious with your project and never finish it. Start simple initially um, and commit to something 
it's uh, it's very easy to kind of start on a project and play around a bit and then want to recycle that project and start again and oh now I've learned all this now I can do this definitely set set goals and complete that project uh, start small start with simple ideas um, and then kind of grow from there I guess I mean being open with your community doesn't hurt either yeah, absolutely. I'd also say don't necessarily start on your own and try to make your own game. Join a team, like find a game that you like. Yeah. Uh, I mean, indie guys are always looking for, for support and show them your skills and, uh, you know, go from there. Yeah. Come up with something that's unique, something that you want to play that's not like, it's not a clone of something else. Whatever component that you make of a game, whatever your specialty is, work with a few other people who do the things that you don't do well and come up with a project that really showcases what you can do well. Also, just be dedicated, you know, just reach out and be as good as you can be. Don't worry about getting a job so much. Um, find something that you're really good at. And the best advice I could give to people is to know yourself and uh, then move forward from there. It's about finding that fire that's in you and whatever it is. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all what that is, but find something that, you're, that you have a lot of passion for. You'll figure out a way to make it work. If you, if you connect to that passion, it will happen for you. It's, it's going to be difficult, most likely. It's going to take you a lot longer than you think. But if you have that drive, it will absolutely happen. So make sure you love it. Be flexible. Be willing to learn other things. Like even if you have a strength in art or a strength in code, try to be a, a bit of a Renaissance man or a Renaissance woman. And um, take on these other things that you need to do. You really have to be committed to it. Um, but if you are, you know, and you're passionate about it, you can go far. Yeah. You just never, never give up and just, just enjoy yourself. Start early, <laughs> you know. I think for, for people to start out, either go to school. <laughs> well, that's a good, good suggestion anyway. <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot to learn. Um, if you want to get into programming, you got to go through a lot of school. Um, if you want to be in game design, obviously there's a lot of schools that are, that are teaching that now. I always say, you know, first thing is stay in school. Don't do what I did. Uh, you know, school is very important. For artists, I always say work your portfolio. You know, make sure your portfolio is good. Hone your skills. And there's one thing that applies universally to everyone. If you're a student or looking for a job, make contacts, network, talk to everyone. You know, have a business card. So it's about getting out there and getting known and establishing a reputation for yourself. Um, save as much money as possible. Do not um, hire an office if not needed. Focus on making a game and releasing it. The other thing is also a bit with the saving. Keep the team small. There's a lot of free software out there that can be used. Like Unity has the demo version, the free version, there's Game Maker, there's uh, Click and Play. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff where you can just make the whole game yourself. Uh, I'd say start with modding. Just make little, you know, seemingly insignificant mods. Just start small, start, don't be ambitious at all, uh, or overly ambitious, and just keep, keep at it. Just eventually something will happen and someone will notice what you're doing. Definitely start with the game. Make your game. Don't worry about making an engine. Uh, that was my mistake for years, and that's why the game's taken so long. Uh, either do a bare minimum engine to get your game going, or try and use an off-the-shelf one. Just use Unity, man. It's <laughs> extremely simple. Yeah. It's scary simple to use, you know. You know, for free people that are just starting to get, get into it, just starting out, uh, you know, get the free version, play around, uh, you know, just get, go through the tutorials. There's a lot of stuff, you know, obviously on Unity site, obviously on the Design 3 site as well, too. Uh, lots of material out there to get somebody, you know, up to speed and going. Um, start really small. Make sure that you're doing it because you are having fun with it. Fun the foremost. Experiment as much as you can and don't be afraid of making mistakes because you're going to make them regardless. Like, just be okay with failing because you're going to do it a lot and that's how you learn. Um, put as much of yourself into the game as possible. Um, like, you're not an expert, so write about what you know. Um, just keep your, keep it all little. Keep it little, little and tidy and experiment as much as you can. Prototype, prototypes, you know, just work, work, work. <laughs>